What's that now? Don't like the cold? Can't stay in today. We have a ritual to perform, you and I. Here. Wear this. It belonged to my daughter. Good. Today, I speak your name, girl. Will the goddess speak it back? <laughs> Normally, it would be the mother who declares, if you had one. The whole village would attend, and matriarchs perform the ritual, but... We are outcasts. Even so, we keep the tribe's rituals. Otherwise, we might become like the faithless old ones who turned their backs on the goddess. But their wickedness doomed them. To us, we're left the splendors of creation. Beasts of air, water, earth, and steel. No, 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 off your knees. It's nearly time. And yes, you may speak to me. You came to bless the naming. Have not six months gone by since we entrusted her to you? But we are outcasts. You by choice. And she, well... <laughs> I am a high matriarch, Rost. I bless whom I choose. Then you honor us. Yes, yes, now go and be ready to declare. Go! Oh, Mother, this child needs a name by which to know her. That your love may warm her life as the rising sun warms all the earth. Speak her name! And so her name is blessed. Stop this at once! What have you done? I've blessed the naming of a child. Stubborn woman, you call that curse a child? What did she tell you about his birth outcast? Answer! I've done only what you asked. To raise it, yes. We said nothing of love. Enough. And you, blessing its name like it was one I of the I know my duty to them. Tribe. And to you. I'm here. And wherever you go, I will follow.
Oh, that's a lot of berries. You're quite the gatherer, aren't you, little bast? Now go and see if you can find some more, hmm? Well done, that's a good boy. Children, come with me. She's an outcast to be shunned. There. Oh, come on. Looks tight, but I can get through. This must be a ruin of the metal world. One of the old places. Ross said never go in places like this. But I have to find a way out. There's something up ahead. What's that? A dead person. There's something shiny there. Ha! <gasps> 
A metal door, closed. Maybe this device I found can help. More lights. Change color too. It did it. Evans, flash traffic from USRC, black quartz encryption. I've rooted the message to your hollow grid for viewing.
What's that? It's got a device. Like the one I found. You think I want it this way? It's the best I can do. He's right behind you. Hi! <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but we can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Show me. Show me again. I can do. He's right behind you. Hi! Hi. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but... We can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. last night? Well, we did. Kind of. Director Evans invited everyone to gather in the community room. Don't know where she got the party hats. That was a ghoulish touch. So there we sit, watching the clock tick down to midnight, and I'm thinking, am I the only one who gets the symbolism of this? It might have been worth it if Skylar had gotten drunk again, but I seem to be a mistake she doesn't want to repeat. Why did they die here? What happened to them? And pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. I mean, uh, death. I'm sorry. It's been a while. And, well, these meds Johnny gave us are really something. So, uh... Okay, from the top, kids. <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace. I mean, seriously? Record our thoughts for posterity? Great idea, Director Evans. Like, I haven't done enough for posterity already. 
Like, I wouldn't be here like this if not for posterity. I'm done with posterity. Posterity can go... Take my hand. You don't belong down there. Come! <sighs> Such places are forbidden, Aloy. I fell in. They are of the metal world. What is that on your face? Nothing. Did you find it down there? No. Give it to me. No. Aloy, such things are dangerous. No! <sighs> well, if you're gonna go sneaking away from home, you'll need to know how to survive in the wild. Come, Aloy. Home now. But starting tomorrow, you will learn to hunt. Thing. We descend to the valley now. Follow. The wilds can be dangerous, Aloy. You will need to stay close and do as I say. I know. Now. You're still scratched up from that fall you took yesterday. So let's start there. Take this medicine pouch. I'll show you how to fill it. See this plant over here? It's called salve brush. Come, gather its berries in your pouch. Aloy, come now. Gather the berries. I told you, gather the berries. Pay attention and gather the berries. Good. Now eat the berries. Blech. They may taste bitter, but they can save your life. Always keep your pouch full of medicinal berries, flowers, and plants. Where are we? This valley is just a part of all mothers' embrace. Embrace. The Nora tribe watches these lands and keeps out the most dangerous machines, usually.
further down river, we'll find a herd of machines, and I will teach you how to hunt. Are they dangerous? All machines are dangerous, Aloy. Their power must be respected. But I will be beside you. There. Now stay low. They don't want... No, Aloy. Such machines are called Watchers. You must learn to avoid their gaze. If you are to survive in the wilds, I will show you. Listen close and do as I do. Stay still. Wait for it to pass. Now keep low and follow me across the trail to that tall grass. Heard you, Aloy. Try again. Now keep low and follow me across the trail to that tall grass. Oh, another one. Let it pass. Come, back this way. The slower you move, the quieter you'll be. And crouched walking is quieter than upright. Wait for it. That's the last of them. Let's move on. You did well. They didn't see or hear you. Now stay close. That herd should be just ahead. Why is he up there? He's smiling at us. Deb! Get back where you belong! Deb! Where are you? Ignore him. We are outcasts and he is of the tribe. Maybe he doesn't like the tribe. Then he is a fool. Come now. Let's find that herd. Follow. There. See them? These are called striders. Ha! Get! Why'd you chase them off? <sighs> To show you how some machines startle easily if they detect you and run away. They're best approached by stealth. Don't worry. We'll catch up with them further down the valley. You'll see. Now, I want you to find some rocks that fit the cup of your hand. Why? Do as I say, Aloy, and gather the rocks. I will show you how to use them. Those will do. Follow.
Aloy, come now. Aloy, over here. Stop wasting time. There's the herd. All right, it's time to throw some rocks. But rocks can't hurt machines, right? No, but they can distract them, draw them into traps. Like that watcher over there. It must be dealt with, or it will warn the herd and send them running before we get in range. Warn them? How? The machines speak to each other, Aloy, unless they are first silenced. Now you stay here on the ridge. On my signal, throw rocks and draw the watcher over to me. Wait for my signal. There. Come, girl, it's safe now. Harvest the kill so I can teach you how to make arrows. Use the stalks as arrow shafts, and metal shards for arrow heads. Good. You'll never run out of arrows if you know how to craft what you need. Let's put those arrows to use. Follow. Aloy, they heard you. Don't be so noisy this time. Let's put those arrows to use. Follow. Here, stay low on the grass and be quiet. It's time to make your first kill, Aloy. Strider, one of the weaker machines, but even a weak machine can kill a hunter if she's careless. You must study the brain. Its hide is thick, but there are spots where it is vulnerable, like its eye. Can you guess another? Aloy, they heard you. Don't be so noisy this time. The canister on its back. Is that a weakness? Yes. How did you guess that? The device. It showed me. That plaything? Stop playing games. Now. Take down that strider. Target the eye or the canister. And if it charges, be ready to roll out of the way. Again!
You did well today, but you have much to learn. Tomorrow, we train again. What was that? That boy. The one running the brave trails. Follow Eloy, quick! Stop telling stories. I'm not. I can sneak through. You will not. Oh no, that what you saw me. Let them see me. Oh 
almost there. Hey! What? How is this? Wait. Oh, Mother, bless that girl. Bless you both. She, Boy! She saved me. I, I just wanted... Boy! Seal your lips! They are outcasts, both. And she is motherless. Come now. Back to Mother's heart. should not have spoken to us. It's against tribal law. We'll go home now. Follow. I know the way. Mother. bleeding. Let me have a look. Here, hold still. I'll get it. Why? Shh. Why am I an outcast? Aloy, this is not the time. Who was my mother? Aloy, I've told you before, that's not for us to know. You were just a newborn when the matriarchs brought you to me. So the matriarchs, they know? It's not so simple. But they know. Aloy, we are outcasts. So how do I make them tell me? The matriarchs? There is a way, perhaps. So tell me. It would be dangerous. How? It would take years of training. I don't care. How do I do it? Tell me. The proving. The tribe's rite of passage held every year. Those who pass become braves, but to the one who wins, the matriarchs grant a boon. A boon? Yes, whatever the winner wants. Then I'll do it. <laughs> whatever it takes. I'll win the proving. I see. We'd best get started then. Your training will be hard. 
and it will take years. Start training? Yes. Follow. Rost? 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 Where is he? Two days before the proving and he goes off without me? He wouldn't do that. He said we'd go hunting this morning. Why isn't he here? Where's he gone to? What's he doing up there? He's just standing there. What's going on with him? Aloy, you're here. Did you want to be alone? No. We must speak. I've been thinking about your training, Aloy. You've learned to hunt, learned to survive. But I fear there's a lesson I failed to teach you. Would you learn it now? Of course. I'll always learn what you have to teach. There has been some trouble recently. It affords an opportunity to learn this lesson, but it will be dangerous. You must come prepared, or you will die. Descend into the embrace and hunt until you have gathered the parts for fire arrows. Fire arrows? 
What kind of trouble are we talking about? Once you have the parts, you will meet me there, at the gate beyond the village of Mother's Heart. Uh, the North Gate? At the edge of the Embrace? Yes. Now be on your way. Is something else bothering you? No. I'm fine. Are you worrying about what happens after the proving? What happens is clear. You will be accepted as one of the tribe, and I will still be an outcast. To be shunned. Rost, even if the tribe accepts me, I won't... There is much to do, Aloy. We will discuss this later. <sighs> okay. Anything else you want me to do while I'm down in the embrace? Oh... Uh, Odd Grotta might be out of food by now. You could hunt a week's worth of meat for her, if you find the time. <sighs> Wouldn't mind, if she'd say thanks just once. <sighs> Grotta follows the law. Her science towards us is honorable, not an insult. If you say so. I'll go gather the parts, but I'm also gonna pay Karst a visit. Aloy. That man breaks the law every time he speaks to you. And I'm glad he does. I want to buy a trip caster, and no other trader will sell to outcasts. Stock it with ammunition, then. You'll find use for that weapon tonight. That sounds ominous. All right, see you at the North Gate. Something's really bothering him. If he thinks I'm gonna abandon him, he's wrong. Snow haze. White as bone. <laughs> that thought got dark. The Embrace. My whole life I've never gone beyond this valley. That'll change after the proving. Two days. Two days until I get answers. Two days and I'll know who she was. And why I was cast out at birth. As if there could be an excuse for that. Alright. Time to gather the parts for some fire arrows. I should find a herd. Mother's heart. Two more days, then I'll know what it's like in there. It's so many people crammed into one place. I guess no one ever gets lonely in there. Good meat.
again. That'll help. Save this for... <gasps> Time to see Karst and get a trip caster.
No one else around. Looks safe to meet. My guess is he'll be waiting for me. There he is. Looks nervous. An outcast on my doorstep, all mother protect me. Surprised you saw me the way you keep looking every other direction to make sure no one's watching. Careful there, or you'll sprain your neck. It's always a pain in the neck when you show up, girl, one way or another. <laughs> Last time I visited, you had a trip caster available for trade. Still got it? I do. But you'd need to bring me a scrapper lens. What can I say? Special weapons don't come cheap. Oh, I can pay. Took down a scrapper not long ago. Stripped out the lens in perfect condition. I'll be the judge of that. Show me. You've got yourself a trip caster. Practice how to use it someplace else, all right? My life's exciting enough without a bunch of shock wire booby traps to trip over. Really? Could have fooled me. <laughs> Will you be around later in case I want to make another trade? I'll be here. Same as usual, bring me the parts you harvest from any machines you hunt. The better the parts, the more shards I'll pay. Be sure to take a close look at my inventory, though. Who knows? Maybe I've got something that could give you an edge in the proving. I guess that concludes our business. All right. See you around. I've got what I need. Time to meet Rost at the North Gate. Aloy, you're here. You have the fire arrows. I do. Those explosions and shouts beyond the embrace. Is that the trouble you were talking about? You will know soon enough. Until then, we wait for dark. Wait for dark? I saw Karst and got that trip caster I was talking about. I hate to think what that outlaw trader charged for a weapon of that make. 
It wasn't cheap, but the caster is worth it. Perhaps. You'll know it's worth soon enough. I don't understand. Those explosions are outside the embrace. What can we do from in here? The lesson will be taught in due time, Aloy. Till then, we wait. Look, Rost. I thought it through, and I'm not going to shun you after the proving, okay? I'm just... I won't do it. I'm not about to pretend that you never raised me. Aloy, the law forbids all contact. It does, and I don't care. I know what duty means for you, Rost, but all tribal law has ever done for me is take things away. And that's not gonna happen again. Aloy, I must obey the law. And so you will. I knew you'd say that, so this is what we'll do. I'll come to you in secret. No one will see me, so I won't get in trouble. A and I know you won't talk to me because it's against the law, but I'll talk to you. It'll be my crime, not yours. You'll just listen. And that's how we'll handle this. You've put a lot of thought into this. I know. So you can stop worrying. It's handled. Yes. So it is. Still a while to go before dark. I guess I'll get some rest. Good idea. There'll be no time for sleep tonight. Opening a gate for an outcast? Some who are shunned reaped honor before disgrace. <sighs> so much for tribal law. I spoke to no one, and now we must both keep silent, for we are outside of the embrace. These are the true wilds, Aloy. With threats unlike any you have ever faced. That carcass? What sort of beast was that? The tribe calls it a sawtooth, and it's something new, something angry. Since they first started appearing ten years ago, they have killed many braves. Yeah. Follow the path. It's not far. That cabin. What happened to it? A machine, that's what. What sort of machine does that? The sort of machine you're hunting now. Oh, I see. I'll watch your carcass. I'll harvest the parts. Watch your surroundings. Get on with it. It won't be much farther now. Why are we the only ones out here tonight? Why can't the tribe's braves hunt this machine? They did. The kills we've passed are theirs. Tomorrow, they will hunt again. They won't need to. 
This machine will be my kill. Or your death, if you're not careful. Entire lodge wrecked by sawtooths? How many were there? I didn't bring you here to answer questions, Aloy. I brought you here to deal with that. for you to decide. This hunt is yours to make, Aloy. Yours alone. No matter what happens, I will not intervene. Do you understand? You are on your own. I should stay out of sight. I can use the tall grass to approach. Okay, let's see. Where can I place my traps? Why did I bring you here? Not to answer questions. Aloy. Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against a dangerous new machine. No. Follow. These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the Sawtooth, how many braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? The lesson lives within the question, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the Proving, but only for yourself. As a brave, it will be your duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? You said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is the lesson you must learn. And remember it. After the proving. And after I'm gone. We're finished here. Follow.
dawn has passed. This will be your last day in the embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. I'll go back to the cabin with you. I'm not heading there just yet. I have other plans. Oh, such as? I'll be waiting for you when it is time. I understand the final lesson, Rost. Do you? But if I'm going to stand for something, it'll have to be something I believe in. Then I hope you find it, Aloy. I hope you do. I'll see you at Mother's Heart, then. You will. So, it's time. Are you ready? Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns?
Are you sure they're gonna let me in? <sighs> I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. What should I expect once I'm inside? There will be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs, a center of Nora life, a jewel of the sacred land. Give it time, and you'll grow fond of it, as I was, back when I was at the tribe. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. Take this to remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. No, it's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you. Proving. After that, I'll see where his trail leads. You will turn back, outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? I want to dance.
It's you, isn't it? Over here. It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hoped to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Seems to fit you perfectly. Uh, thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside? Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. You're drunk. Why do you have to go climbing houses? Oh, not supposed to go climbing on other people's roofs, huh? Listen carefully now. Get down from there. For you'll now. have to tell this one. Oh, I'm that's gone. just what you want, isn't it? For me to fall on my head. All life came from all mother. People, nice. machines, and beasts. It's for the all goddess were to judge the charge of it, not me. They lived a long time in the past. In the comfort of her wild and I'm with high major hands. Aloy, over here. Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now? Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks on some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last-minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Mother's Heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. You can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me.
I'll give you my best. All right then, time to go. Good luck tomorrow, Aloy. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace, it's peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude Written Killers by the and hand slavers! Of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers and slavers! Hey, hey! Luminance of Hold the... your fruit, Nora. Uh, uh. Nora Faithful. Hold your fruit. Now I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja, but the 13th King is dead. Two years now. now. Who killed him? The 14th. Yeah. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th King. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> An enunciation of gratitude, written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. <clears throat> Evil of the Nora. On the eve of your proving, What's that no, mean? the Karja stand with you. As the Everyone's acting like these cursed Karja are honored guests. Makes me sick. As those you have nurtured, He's wearing a focus. Take their places You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. Maybe you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. Ah! What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait! No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey, you got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now, he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense. It looks great on you. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. The Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Wraiths. And who can blame them? I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring-locked, impact-protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life-takers and machine-breakers to a one. He might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. 
Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. What else do you know about Olin? Is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. Tell me about Olin again. When he's not scrounging, he's... I've known him for... I wanted to ask you something else. Hey, if you want. But... Uh... I never heard anything about Red Raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? I mean, were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few Karja to finish Ursa. She got away. And now she's my captain. Captain of the entire vanguard. Favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh, direct. So, what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the sun sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. Who are the Osaram? Oh, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things. Arguing, working steel, and brewing. And freebooters. What are those? I guess you could say we were mercenaries. You know, warriors for pay. Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now, some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah. I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh. I'm sorry. I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous. So long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. 
If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the Sawtooth? Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So what's making it happen? And no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. Tell me about the derangement again. Well, the way I hear it, when a hunter came, so it was... But then the now went a few more years, if that wasn't... Like the sawtooth. Yeah, ten... So what's making... And no one knows. If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. But take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. Just how big is Meridian? What's it like? Where do I even start? My tribesmen are masters of the forge, the best tinkers in the world. But when it comes to building, the Karja have us beat. The city soars over a canyon with more bridges than the Nora have roads and buildings tall as mountains. And across the valley stands the spire, like a blade thrust into the sky reflecting the sun. You really owe it yourself to see it. So consider that a challenge or an invitation. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and, well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. it will be a whole new life, if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too, so... Uh, See you around, maybe? The Karja have come to make amends. I won't deny them the chance. How am I supposed to enjoy myself with those bloodthirsty Karja faithless hanging about, profaning the land? It's for the gods to judge the Karja, not me. The path should be like this. We'll start the blessing when all aspirants are in place. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. <laughs> Blasphemy. Sisters. Aspirants. Before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. In honor of Rost, and all he did to help me get here. All oh, mother, hear our prayer. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So from one to another passes the chain of love. For the goddess to judge the Karja. There's Olin. I have some questions that. for him. Hello, Olin. You know my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. 
I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the claim. That's our name for the Asarum homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've delved yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. You're not a very convincing liar. Do you always accuse people you've just met of lying? Only the ones who aren't telling the truth. Fire and spit, girl! I'm a plain hammered man with nothing to hide. You don't believe me? That's your trouble, not mine. What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Eren needed a scout for his expedition, and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the king's court. That's all. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <sighs> Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the Proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard, I figured it was the latrine. You were, you were very present here! <sighs> well, well. Look who's come in from the wild, the motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. Where's your bite, outcast? Or did you need my permission to- Aw, oh, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the Proving. The only way you know how to feel strong is to make someone else feel weak. It's not working. <laughs> I've trained all my life. You'll see tomorrow how strong I am. Oh, I've seen plenty. You grew a man's body, kind of, but down deep you're still a scrawny little brat. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. What I remember is how the other children saw that you were a monster. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, Outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? 
because that would be a surprise. Nice job handling Bost. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. So, your first day in Mother's heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. Comforts and distractions, that's what I think. Not all comforts are bad. Comforts are weakness. You sound just like my mother. You can always go back to living in the wilds if you have to. In the meantime, get some rest. Ready yourselves! What will it take to get you out of here? Shattered outcast. Looks like you'll need another. Come on. 
Watch out! Slow and steady now. All you need is to finish. That makes all but one. Is the outcast coming? She was behind me! It's strong, I thought. Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. Boss will win, Urbala. But you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now. That's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. Whoa, 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 whoa! My old mother, are you crazy? You're gonna kill yourself! It doesn't get any easier! You're insane to go that way! That's it. No way, but forward Just now. Stop right there. Just turn around and find Who's in the lead? You know I can't see. see. It's not worth it. Bus. The ball right behind you. Come on now. Faster. Stop dragging. Hey, Gotta keep there. going. The outcast. On the old trail? Is she crazy? Good. I'm gaining. Whoa. The outcast is catching up. How'd she get up there? Made it. Come on now, hurry. Keep at it. You can make it. Can't let them beat me now. She didn't win. The outcast cheated. An outcast win the proving? Never. For she is a brave now. You did it. As are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast, and now brave, who is first among us. Ah! They're dead. Keep them busy. I'll find an angle. Fast! Fast! Are you with us? I'm with you! Let's go. Now! Too many of them! We can't win!
wire. Kill them all! No witnesses, no survivors! For I'm all mother! I'm looking right... Oh no! There's more! They keep coming! How many are there? Descend while we have a chance. Get back! Ah! Bala! Bala! No! Wow! The red hair dies now! Everyone! Forward! Run from right.
turn your face to the sun, child. As you command. She is dying. <gasps> to think her there is blasphemy. She should be near her mother. found me before I bled out. Are allowed inside. I, I don't see my bow here. Or that damaged focus that when I took off that killer. 
Where are they? I should keep looking. I'm picking up some kind of signal. It looks like the ruins I fell into when I was young. The Nora didn't build this place. The old ones did. Why? There. With the rest of my things. Halt excavations and proceed at once to the mission point. Avoid all contact with Nora Savages. But if you are seen, kill every witness. Target imaging attached. Do not fail. Target imaging. Who says I'm like other Nora? You are awake! You brought me here? Quickly, you must follow. To where? To the place where you were born. Are you saying I was born here? Inside the mountain? It is easier if I show you. Why did you bring me here? It seemed you were dying, and to die near one's mother is sacred. Lantra fought it, of course, but Jezza sided with me. Is my mother here? Am I going to meet her? It's complicated. Please, just follow me. Does my mother look like me, but with short hair? I don't see how that could be. You were not born of a woman, Aloy. The mountain is your mother. I'm... What? What are you talking about? Come. What is this place? The Great Chamber, where all mother slew the Metal Devil and gave birth to you. Aloy, the Proving Massacre was just the first of many disasters. 
The war party we sent after the killers was ambushed and slaughtered. But what does that have to do with where I was born? My hope is... everything. This is where we found you. We heard your cries, came to look, and there you were. Just... just lying there? Yes. You mean I came from behind the door? Always, that is what I have believed. That you came from the womb of the mountain. A gift from all mother herself. But others, like Lanzra, feared that a darker power put you here. Not a gift, but a curse. But this isn't a goddess. Aloy! It's a door. With people behind it. My mother? <gasps> oh. Oh. Hold for identity scan. The goddess speaks. Just like the woman I saw. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Identity cannot be confirmed. Entry denied. No, no. Please. Aloy, all mothers spoke to you, as if she knew you. Were you not listening? It didn't recognize me. Because of corruption, the goddess's own words. Surely, if you heal this corruption, she will see you clearly. And how would I do that? You said you've had visions. Of a woman with short hair. The killers came for me. Because I look like her. But their power is overwhelming. Is there no other trail to follow? Owen. He was one of the outsiders. The night before the proving. The killer saw me through his eyes. He lives in Meridian. So you will have to leave the sacred land. I've been an outcast all my life. Why not an exile too? Shh. There is another way. Come, and we will make it so. You said the tribe is on the brink of extinction. What happened? After the massacre at the Proving, a great war party was sent after the killers. Less than half survived. Uh, how was the war party defeated? The killers do not fight alone. Somehow, they have a power over the machines, corrupting them, driving them mad. So the killers got away? Yes. And now, the only plan my sister matriarchs can agree to is to sing the Hymn of Atonement and beg for All Mother's mercy. As though she would not want us to help ourselves! Then, what's your plan? This. This was my plan. To show you where you were born, and loose you to follow the destiny All Mother intended for you. The other High Matriarchs are waiting for us. Let me do the talking. It is done? Yes. I showed her. Sisters, the goddess spoke to Aloy, told her to heal the corruption. Ha! But how is she to do that? She will have to journey beyond our sacred land. A seeker? If the goddess spoke, it must be so. You would name this thing a seeker? Sister! For once, Lanzra, join with us. This will be your sin, not mine. 
Send her seeking, and may she never be seen again. Aloy, by the holy grace of the One Goddess, we hereby anoint you a seeker of the Nora tribe. No barrier can now stay you from your sacred task. May all mother protect you and sustain you. Stay true. I will make ready for the hymn. Our hopes lie with you. Tirsa, what's a seeker? You are. And here is your mark. In times of great need, the High Matriarchs may anoint a seeker. A worthy brave sent forth to accomplish a great purpose. No matter where that purpose might take her. Even beyond the borders of the sacred land? Yes. And with the right to return when you are done, or as the need arises. So I can go anywhere at all? No restrictions? Even to forbidden places, like the tainted lands beyond all mother's sight, or the ruins of the metal world. I see. Why are the lands beyond Nora territory called tainted? Is it not obvious? Our land is sacred. We live in sight of the one goddess, all mother, source of all that lives. Beyond her sight lies a vast fallen land, spiritually tainted. That is why it is against tribal law to leave. But the seeker blessing will protect you. Why are the ruins of the metal world forbidden? They are blighted places, Aloy. Dark and wicked, like the children of metal who built them. When they rebelled and tried to murder Old Mother, her wrath leveled their cities, but could not cleanse their sin. Their ancient spite haunts those ruins, ready to ensnare anyone foolish enough to enter them. But I've been in a ruin. It looked a lot like the inside of All Mother. That cannot be so. It is. Then, this is something beyond my understanding. I will trust you to reveal the truth. Have there been other Seekers? There have, but they are rare, and most who set out are never heard from again. Was Frost a Seeker? No, not a Seeker. What are you not telling me? This is not the time, Aloy. Perhaps another day. What was done with Rost's body? I'm afraid there was very little left to recover. But what there was, we buried at the place where he raised you, with flowers on the grave. Thank you. So many have suffered. Is there anything I can do to help? What is most important is for you to fulfill the purpose all Mother has intended for you. I don't know what that means any more than you do. Then you must find out. If, however, you sense that part of your purpose is to help the tribe, by all means do so. I have no doubt you will find people in need throughout the embrace. You said the Nora sent a war party after the killers. Yes. But it was ambushed and overrun. Very few escaped alive. And most that did were wounded. Do you know where the killers went? No. But you could ask Varl, one of the braves guarding the gates of the Embrace. He survived the ambush. He would know more. I should be on my way. From here, you must go to the gates of the Embrace. Speak to Varl, and he will point the way to Meridian. If any Nora tries to stand in your way, Aloy, make sure they know you are a seeker. Oh, I will. Thank you, Tirsa, for all you've done. 
May all mother bless you and watch over you. Nora faithful. Nora will not forget. We will soon begin. I Purify your hearts. Soon we will beg forgiveness for the sins that brought such misery on the tribe. We will join our prayers. Save these for the trail. She saved many lives. The tribe is lucky to have her. Stocking up. Continue the report. I need the gate opened. <laughs> Since when has any outcast's need been my concern? Since I was anointed a seeker. Now open the gate. You? A seeker? Have Tissa and Jezza gone insane? Bad enough that they let you run in the proving. But to nurse you back to health inside the sacred mountain? No wonder a curse is upon us and children lie dead under cairns of stone. How can you be so heartless? I fought beside those children, shoulder to shoulder and back to back. I saw them fall. If even one of them had been true, Nora, they would have put an arrow in your back. Resh, come on. Silence! I am your war chief. And I am a seeker anointed by the High Matriarchs. So open the gate, and I will be on my way. The sooner you're gone from here, the better. What was that?
The demon these is things dead. merged with the killers at the proving. How'd you do it? Show me. <laughs> you made them obey you. But how? This. You did it with this. It's connecting to my focus. Then I could use this. It's worth a shot. Couple loops of wire. Looks like it'll hold. I just need to test it. Aloy, how did you do that? Tev? What are you doing here? You're a stitcher, not a brave. I came to help defend Mother's Watch. But I never imagined I'd see anything like this. You killed that demon. Pulled its guts from the carcass. The way it controls other machines. I think I figured it out. But I need to test it on a machine. Uh, plenty of striders along the path to the gates of the Embrace, I guess. Exactly. And the gates are where I'll be headed anyway. I need to speak to Varl. I always knew you were different, Aloy, but... But what? I think you're a blessing from All Mother. No matter what Ress says. <sighs> Thank you, Teb. But I have to go now. I know you do. And my thoughts go with you. The border is closed. Graves! I want that gate repaired immediately! I don't care if you have to bandage it together. Get it done! No room. Saving these for the trail. This will help. I need to find a machine. Test this override device.
sister, Olara! Do you need help? You're the one who survived the proving. Yes, I do need help. Ten years ago, my brother was cast out. His sentence ended, but he didn't come back. His camp was empty and covered in blood. You, um, you said your brother's camp was soaked with blood? The Braves went looking for him, and, and that's what they found. All I can think about is what might have happened. Is he really dead? Or maybe just wounded? Is he suffering? Does he need help? I can't stand it not knowing. What are you doing out here all alone? Each day I cut a notch on the wall so I knew Brahm's sentence was over. Then I cut three more. But he still hadn't come back. I begged the matriarchs to send braves to find him and all they found was a blood-soaked camp. The Brave said he must be dead, but I have to know the truth, so I came out looking for him. Why was your brother cast out? Rom was always a little different, a little touched. One of the hunters had a cruel heart and never let him alone. I was gone but an hour, and the hunter said after him like always, but this time, Brom struck back with a rock and split the man's skull. Spirits made him do it. He said, whispers of the forgotten. It cost him ten years. I never should have left him alone. What do you mean forgotten? All mother curses blasphemers who won't repent, banishing them from her eternal memory. Those lost spirits are the forgotten. Brahm used to say they spoke to him, told him to do things. It was such a burden for him, and, and there was nothing I could do to help. I'll do what I can to find your brother. You will? Then let me come with you. I won't be a bother. I know how to stay out of sight. I'm faster on my own. If that is how it must be, just find him then. Please.
Please, I need your help. You called to me? You saved lives at the Proving. Hear me out, and you might save another. What's the problem, then? Trouble with your leg? Forget about me. It's my daughter, Arana. She's in danger. She went after a scrapper near Mother's Cradle, and I fear for her life. I can't even stand up, let alone go after her. Will you help me find her? Can't you ask a brave to look for her? After everything the tribe's been through, there are so few braves left. Please, just find her. Why would your daughter hunt a scrapper on her own? It's my fault. I went after it first and it tore up my leg. I barely got away and I left a spear impaled in the machine. That spear was made by Adina, my mate, who died last year. It means everything to Arana. She, she went after the scrapper to get it back. You said Arana went to Mother's Cradle? Yes, southeast of here. I forbid her from going, but ever since her mother died, she's become impossible. Damn it, look at me. A widower, now a cripple. Father that can't find his daughter. Please, help me set things right. I'll do what I can to help your daughter. Make sure she's all right. I'm begging you. <laughs> 